Coming up on Science News Weekly, DARPA wants robots, flying cars are coming, and baboons like words. Up next on Science News Weekly. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Science News Weekly with Dr. Kiki, episode number eight, recorded Thursday, April 12th, 2012. Street Legal Airplanes. It's April 12th, 2012, and this is the science news that made headlines this week. By not vetoing a bill passed by the House and Senate that protects teachers who want to use supplementary materials to teach the strengths and weaknesses of scientific ideas, the Tennessee state governor effectively allowed it to become law. Tennessee is the second state to pass laws enabling creationist ideas to be taught in schools. Three studies publishing in the journal Nature examined the human exome or protein coding portions of the genome for genes involved in autism. They estimate approximately 1,000 genes are responsible for the spectrum of disorders we call autism and that older parents, specifically fathers, might be responsible for passing on more spontaneous point mutations related to autism. The CMS experiment at the LHC, in conjunction with the D0 experiment at Fermilab, released the results of their research of their search for multiple dimensions. I'm sorry to say they found no evidence in the data for extra dimensions. That doesn't mean there aren't extra dimensions, just that they crossed a few possible locations off the list. The Pentagon's DARPA has announced a competition for the development of disaster zone robots. Inspired by the lack of robots able to contend with the Fukushima disaster, the contest offers a $2 million prize for the best supervised autonomous technology in the areas of perception and decision making, mounted and dismounted mobility, dexterity, strength, and endurance. Terrafugia, a U.S. company, displayed the first street-legal airplane at the New York International Auto Show. Called the Transition, the two-seater has four wheels like a car and retractable wings that allow it to fly like a plane. Expecting a 2013 release, the vehicle has been cleared by both the FAA and the NHTSA, has a range of 644 miles on a full tank of gas, a waiting list of 100 pre-orders, and is priced at $279,000. The journal PLOS One published the results of a collaboration between the Australian Antarctic Division, the British Antarctic Survey, the University of Minnesota National Science Foundation, and Scripps Institution of Oceanography that counted emperor penguins in their Antarctic habitat over three years. The researchers used high-resolution satellite imagery to calibrate their analysis of counts taken on the ground and found that the penguin populations were nearly double previous estimates. It's nice to have good news every once in a while. A paper involving macaque monkeys in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found that the activity of immune-related genes was an accurate predictor of social rank. The higher the activity of a female's genes, the higher her social rank. Changes to social rank affected gene activity correspondingly. The study provides an intriguing link between social environment and physiology through gene regulation that might have ramifications for humans. Finally, French researchers reported in the journal Science that they trained six guinea baboons to recognize words. The animals averaged 75% correct in their parsing of words and non-words, which is significantly better than random in this case. The results suggest that baboons, the baboons were engaged in what is called orthographic processing, using, t- using statistical rules to recognize letters and their positions, and that the mechanism humans use for reading might not be unique in the primate family. And that does it for the science headlines this week. Let me know what you think about these science news stories, and if you have any ideas for science news next, next week, send me an email at drkiki at drkiki.tv, or you can leave me a voicemail at 650 741 